Saving your Reaper project is super simple. All you need to remember is to do it in its own folder. Here's one quick way to do this. Let's say that I was working on this project and I haven't saved it. So I'm gonna go to file and go save project as. In here, give your project a name, my new song. And just check this box right here at the bottom that says create subdirectory for project. This is gonna make a folder and it's gonna put all of the files inside. And if you had already started with your project like I have right here, it's good to also check copy all media into project directory. This will ensure that all of the project media is inside the project folder. Inside your project folder, you're gonna find your RPP file. This is the project file. And feel free to save as many versions as you want. Then you have the media folder, and this is where all of your recordings are gonna be stored, including all of the audio or things you import into the project are gonna be stored in here. And inside that folder, you will find a peaks folder. And these are files with extension repeax. And these are pretty much waveforms. Every time you bring in an audio item into Reaper, Reaper's gonna generate a small image file of the waveform and it's gonna store it into this project. You can delete this at any point. Reaper's just gonna generate them again when you open the project back. Lastly, we got a backups folder. And in here, by default in Reaper, every time you save, the old version of the project is going to be stored in here. This is super useful since they are all timestamped. You can pretty much go back in time into your project and open it right from there. You can of course adjust these settings when you go to preferences, backups. In here there's a bunch of options to set up your backups the way you want. For example, I actually have this disabled. The thing that I just showed you where it keeps the old version of your saved project and it's because I find that I save so many times per second, so I just end up with so many copies of my project. So i rather to have this off, and instead I prefer having autosave to timestamp in an additional directory. So this one is my favorite. So this is gonna keep all of my backups in one folder. And that folder looks like this. I pretty much have all of my backups in here, and I have it set up so it's autosaves every three minutes, so every three minutes, I get a new version of my backups. So the reason I like to have them in one folder is because I can simply select them all like this and just delete them once I'm done with them. I Every now and then I'll go to this folder and just delete a bunch of these. These things can take some space, so I would rather have them all in one folder where I can just clean it up eventually. And it would be more difficult if they were spread into multiple projects of folders. So I had to go into each folder and delete the backups from each of them. I would rather have them all in one folder like this and just do all my cleanup in one go. And it's the same deal with real peaks. I like to have them all in one folder where I can just simply click them all and move to trash. And I can do that every now and then. To set that up, we go to preferences, paths. And here you can check this spot that says store all peaks in alternate path. And then you put the path in here and you can do clean up every now and then. It doesn't take that much space, but I like to keep things clean. But yeah, feel free to explore these options. Maybe you want to limit your backups to just 20 copies or 10 and that works for you. Or maybe you prefer the auto saves. There's a lot of options in here for you to explore. So it's a very good thing that Reaper has all of these.